my brother wants to go on that show, America's Got Talent. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell are you going to do on there? You ain't got no talent. He goes, I can rip a phone book in half with my bare hands. You live in a town of 47, you moron. <laughs> that ain't a phone book. That's a pamphlet right there. But I'll tell you what, them reality shows make me madder than the piano player in the marching band. I'll tell you what, that. The only one of them I like is cops. You like cops? I like cops. That's real on that show. I like the first two seasons, too, because my family was featured on a lot of them episodes in there. So I enjoy the cops. Everybody got a reality show. Makes me madder than a mosquito in a mannequin factory. I tell you what, country music television has one. My buddy John Rich, you seen his show, Gone Country? Pop singers go country. Did you see Bobby Brown on there? He went country for ten minutes. He learned how to smoke crack out of a corncob pipe on that show in there, so... I thought that was pretty good. I'll tell you what, though, TV ain't like it was when I was growing up. I mean, I used to love all the old shows, you know. My favorite show growing up was Knight Rider. I like that old Knight Rider show. But, but they did a remake of Knight Rider. Have you seen a new remake of that talking car Knight Rider? That show sucks so bad, my TV told me to turn it off, for God's sake. Watched a lot of sports on the TV. I was getting into arena football for a while. When there was no football, I would watch arena football. It's just kind of weird watching arena football. You know, football on a 50-yard field, kind of like having the Daytona 500 in the cul-de-sac. You know what I mean? <laughs> and the Super Bowl irritated me last year. That was, I'm going to tell you something. These commercials they run on the Super Bowl, what the hell? Make me madder than a fat guy with little arms trying to wipe his ass crack. I tell you what, these commercials. I was walking the Super That was a good Super Bowl, was it not? Down to the last 12 seconds of the game. Good Super Bowl. Them morons showed a Victoria's Secret commercial with four minutes left in the game. I missed the rest of the Super Bowl. Then my wife caught me with illegal use of the hands later on that night in the commercials. You ever see that? Uh, Commercial for tag body spray. I can't believe people buy stuff they say it on. You ever see that one for tag body spray? Evidently, single fellers, they spray it on them, and women love it. It's like human deer urine or something. You know what I mean? They, they love it. They smell that fella. Oh, boy, they ripping their underbritches off like they got fruit flies flying around in a cotton patch down there. You know what I mean? Let me tell you something about tag body spray. The only way you're going to get lucky with tag body spray is if you spray it in her eyes and drag her in an alley. All right, that's it. That's true. <laughs> That's right. Now, I know that works. <laughs> Lord, I apologize for that right there. And be with the starving pygmies in New Guinea. Amen. Yeah, you got to make that right. Got to make that right. Then you got some of these other commercials make literally no sense at all. They think we all idiots. What kind of an incentive is this? You see that online poker commercial? Spend $50 online. You can gamble with the top five poker players in the world. I want to gamble with the five worst poker players in the world, for God's sake. That's $50. And some companies advertise, don't even need to advertise. Everybody likes what they do. I don't know why they spend the money. Like Oro cookies. Who in the hell ever eat Oro cookie? They got commercials for Oro cookies. Everybody likes Oro cookie. You could go to the deepest jungles of New Guinea, have all them jungle pygmies running around there, hold up oral cookie. They'd be like, boop, 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 hold my boop, boop, oral cookie, oral cookie. They'll stab it with a spear and eat it with a side of monkey brains, them pygmy down there. Because everybody likes oral cookies. But they got a commercial app right now that says, oral cookies taste great with milk. No kid. <laughs> Here all this time, I've been rolling them up in a tortilla with lima beans and cheese for God's sake. I wish somebody told me about that milk. I bet that sounds delicious right there, that milk. Can't buy nothing from China no more. Good Lord, the dog food, toothpaste, they're all poison. The dog food's poison, you believe that? Now my buddy has no idea what to get his wife for their anniversary. It's unbelievable. All right, I shouldn't say that. He gets mad when I say that, but she ain't good looking, so I don't know what else to say about her, all right? He met her online, that ought to tell you something. <laughs> He's like, quit making fun of my eye candy. More like eye broccoli. Good Lord. You didn't meet her online. You met her on drugs. I'll guarantee you that much. Hey, she's homely. She's part Eskimo. The part that pulls the sled. All right, that's what she is. She's bad. 
she faxed her picture into eHarmony.com and crashed the server on that son bitch last week, and that's, that's a true story right there. She is bad. I got her in a bass tournament with me, and she's in a boat, and they disqualified me for having a pet on the boat. <laughs> I do, hey, I like fishing. I'm gonna tell you something. I almost won a bass tournament in Florida in January, and it was awesome. I had three of these big slobber knockers, and just before the weigh-in, I forgot to take out the batteries, and they started singing Garth Brooks songs on me in there. They pissed me off. I like to drink and fish. You like to drink when you fish? Of course you do. Why the hell go fishing? But don't get so drunk you don't know what you're doing out there when you're fishing. <laughs> we was fishing the other day, and I get hammered, and I'm like, I got to take a leak. Oh, so I started peeing in the lake. <laughs> Realized I was in the fish tank up at the Red Lobster. <laughs> Thank God they put rubber bands on them lobster pinchers. I tell you that, but good Lord, I'd be up here half cocked right now. All right, I would be. It ain't funny. I would be. And let me ask you, you ever ice feet? I like ice feet. My wife's from Wisconsin. They ice feet. But that proves that fish is the biggest retards on the planet right there. What a bunch of... You didn't take on fish. You go to the ice, you cut a hole in the ice, you put your food on the hook and you throw it in the hole and the fish grab it and you pull them out and they got that look like, mm, what the hell? Uh, what a bunch of morons. <laughs> what would you do if you were sitting at home watching TV and all of a sudden a pot pie fell from a hole in the roof? <laughs> what... Wouldn't that throw up a couple of red flags to you right there, maybe? Not to go near that pot pie. Bunch of retard fish. I used to fish a lot with my grandpa, and he don't fish no more. He's too old to fish, but I love him. He's real old. Matter of fact, he had a prostate check. They found an arrowhead in there last week, so he's pretty nervous about it. He's going to the archaeologist next week, see what's going on with him. But. Felt bad for my grandpa a while back because he likes to go on his morning walks and little jogs, but he's been tripping and falling and hitting his head. We thought he might have a brain tumor, so we cooked him to the doctor up there. Turns out he's fine, but the doctor said that when he walks from now on, he needs to tuck his nuts into his socks. So. That's funny. I don't care who you are. All right, that's a good joke, right? <laughs> but he, he had a birthday party a while back. We were going to get him a stripper to pop out of a cake, but we couldn't find one last minute, so we got a fat girl to strip for a piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> and for a second, I thought she was making balloon animals over there, but she was just bent over with a thong on at the time I'd seen her over there. That's, that's nasty. Oh, them thongs. I'm wearing a thong right now. <laughs> Yeah, don't get too excited. <laughs> it started out as boxer shorts, all right? 